So, what's up, YouTube? Or whatever. I don't know. I feel weird because I ain't like done a YouTube video in like forever. But um, I don't know. Life been changing. I've been changing a lot since I didn't let like, did. Blah, blah, blah. I ain't been in here for so long, and it's weird because I'm recording with my front camera, and I ain't never, ever in my life recorded with my front camera. But if you been on my youtube channel before or you see my videos or you know me personally you know this is about the third time i didn't change my name on youtube yeah if you could if you look obviously you here on my channel you looking you watch my video it says amir right well let me tell you why because okay at first i have my name as scream dj Right, but then I made a channel with my best friend and it was like two of us and it was like so cringy and it's still up. I should go delete that channel if I can get into it, but it's called, I'm not even gonna say the name. But then I changed my name to like Red and then I changed my name to Ricky Hill for like, you know, a bit. Then I changed it to Amir, which is now. But Ricky is a nickname that I had gave myself. Nobody ever, like, on this earth gave me that name. The name Red came from my stepdad. He gave me the nickname when I was younger. But, um, you know, I still get called that nickname by my stepmom and him and his 500,000 baby mamas. But, like, I changed my name to Amir because, like, you know, I started talking to my dad recently more, and his whole side of the family, they're all Muslim. And they're, like, I don't even know how they even happen to make me because my mom's side, they're all Catholics, and his is Muslim. So he was, like, my mom told me, oh, you guys have like, you know, Muslim names or whatever. And I'm like, my name not Muslim. And then he was like, no, but you have one. And then I was like, oh, great. You know, I should have been named that legally because now I'm like, I got a basic name in the English dictionary. So. Excuse me. I'm recording right now and getting the window light and somebody just like, past and I'm like staring but um back to what I was saying my dad named me Amir and I was like oh but well, that makes sense because I'm your junior and then his name was always like always Amir like he would have his name as that on like social media platforms and stuff so I was like what's Amir what is that? But of course, as I got older, I understood everything about, you know, his religion and et cetera. Did I say that right? Et cetera, et cetera, ex, et cetera, ex, ecstasy. Codeine. I was like, I love it. Like, I know the meaning behind it and everything, but like, I'm like, why? Why am I just finding this out now? Like, I'm 18 years old, and you just now telling me this? But, yeah, I have like, feel some type of way. People are like, oh, are you, like, what is it? They're, like, saying, are you, like, um, Eastern European? That, that People ask me about something. I'm like, I mean, I don't think I am, but I'd have to ask my grandmother. Um, I am creole chinese and white and african-american native american i don't look like it by the hair people are like oh your hair is nappy your teeth fucked up i'm like but yeah that's that but the whole point of this youtube video is because i ain't been on youtube in a while and like i just post stuff like i know this and then i did originally do a video about like getting to know me i think and it was like Ugh. because i had the straight hair and i was like going through it you know i thought i was like you know emo kid or something I, I don't know but i'm gonna do another one
So, let's start off now. Welcome to my channel. If you ain't been here before, you here now, because you took your time to come watch this and click the link on whatever social media platform of mine that I decided to promote it on. And my name is Amir. And if you're gonna subscribe, subscribe, but we could repeat that in the end of the YouTube video. Mm, I'm 18 years old. I recently graduated from high school. I went to, I grew up in Palmdale, California. I live in California. And I grew up there more than half my life. I was originally like, came from like Watts at like seven years old, two years old to seven years old. And then so I remember a lot that I did down there as a kid, made me a little bit of a baby kid that I am today, even though I moved up to the suburbs. But I moved up to Palmdale and I just been in Palmdale all my life. And I went to like, you know, I was there from like first grade to 11th grade and then 12th grade I ended up doing online school and moved away but the last school I went to out there was this school called P. Knight High School and I went there from 9th to 11th grade and I really wish I could have stayed because I miss everybody and when I went there like honestly I was just starting to you know become a more liked person because for some reason a lot of people didn't like me in like elementary middle school and I was like, I looked bad. Like, I looked really bad. I looked worse than I do now. You know, I still look bad, but I look bad. Like, I was horrible. But I know a lot of people out there still, because ain't nobody really moved after we don't graduated now. And I ended up going to this online school called K-12 Online. And, you know, I ended up doing it because my friend, he does it. And so I was like, okay, well, I was going through kind of a little situation. I was like, I need to go to school. So I ended up checking into that online school. And actually before that, I moved to Bakersfield for like a little bit. And I went to the school called Highland High School. And it was, it was pretty cool. Like it wasn't as dramatic as P Night. And like these people where everybody was cool, but let me tell you, I'm, I'm, this is Palm Day I'm talking about. I grew up around blacks and Hispanics. Blacks and Hispanics. I grew up some white people, but a lot of blacks and Hispanics. I moved to Bakersfield, and I go to this school called Highland, and it's a mixture of everybody there. Like, you know, from the, the Muslims to the, the whites, blacks, mixed, Hispanics, and... Honestly, I've never been around so many Caucasians in my life. Like, they was cool, and I was kind of like, mm, because I got a bad experience with a lot of them. But one pulled my hair and called me ghetto. He was like, what's this? And he just yanked my hair, and I was like, he's like, this is ghetto. You're ghetto. He pulled, I, I had braids in. So, like, I had, like, this little weird hairstyle going on. If you, like, look on my Instagram and go down, like, the sides of my hair was braided, and the top was out. It was weird. I'm a weird person. Don't worry about it. But he pulled my hair and called me ghetto. And I, I'm like, I'm like, oh no, hold this camera. And then, you know, security came over there. I was like, you know what, I'm just chill. But he was like a a-hole because I met this one girl. She's like a grade under me. And he would always pull her hair and call her out of her name, let's say that. I don't want to curse a lot. That's very inappropriate for the YouTube content and disrespectful. But he would pour her car out her name and I'm just like, like this guy's like so rude. But I left that school and I did online school and I graduated. So now I'm graduated. And then before I graduated, I got my first job and like, which I was, I'm really happy about. Like I'm scared to be jobless now that I don't got a job. It may seem like nothing, but you got to realize I live in California. Minimum wage here is $12. So I don't care which job I work at. As long as you pay me minimum wage, I'm perfectly fine. The only thing where it doesn't work out at is everything is expensive in California. So basically, it's still nothing, you know? It'd be better off if I just, you know, buy a place in Texas and work in California because I make a lot. And then I could just get somewhere, you know, for the low in Texas. That's like a lot better than what you can get here in California. 
So that's something that I might want to go ahead and work on. But no, right now where I work at is like, I work at Little Caesars. <laughs> I know people always talk about Little Caesars, like, and I don't get offended by it. Like, it's funny. And I just look at this stuff on the internet, like, okay, great. But yeah, I've been working at Little Caesars for a few months, six months, and um, I'm an assistant manager at Little Caesars, so it's cool. I like it, you know. It's like, since I became an assistant manager at Little Caesars, things have gotten, I've learned to do more, but in a way, it got easier for me, you know? Because I still got, like, two people, like, how can I, two levels that are ahead of me up in the store that are actually in the store. And because we got crew members, co-managers. No, we got crew members, assistant managers, co-managers. And then, I guess, training managers, store managers? I don't know, but my boss is a training manager. And then we got co-managers. And then I'm an assistant manager. And then we still make hourly. And then we get promoted one more time to co-manager. Then you make a salary. I believe that's how it works. But, yeah, it's like, I'm perfectly fine with my job, you know? Um, when you're a crew member, you start off with 12 an hour, so, and then overtime is $18 an hour, so, you know, with raking, where can you go wrong with it, you know? My boss, she asked me to do overtime, she let me work eight hours, and I'm like, yeah, well, I make, I make 13 an hour now, but, yeah, it's really, really dope for me, I like it, and... I don't want to leave the job. Like, I really like it there. People be like, oh, I can never work in fast food or whatever. I guess it's considered fast food, but I don't know. I'm still making my money by the end of the day while everybody else worrying about their mama trying to buy them clothes. Because everything, like, literally everything I have now, like, everything, every single thing I bought with my own money, and it feels good. Like, my mom, she, the things that she bought me, over time, I've gotten rid of it. Like, because, of course, I grew up when, you know, I wanted new things. Like, even my phone, she did buy my phone. She put, like, 600 down on my phone. She never paid the whole thing off. So, and then, like, my screen got cracked and stuff, and the top stopped to the lift up. I got an iPhone 8 Plus, and I'm going to go get the Max. But I bought myself AirPods, and I got a replacement phone that I pay for. So I'm like, okay. Now, I officially own nothing of my mother's. Everything that I own, I bought. And I feel good about it. So, it might not be much. People might barely be like, oh, really, that's all you have? Well, yeah, that's all I got because I pay for it. And you realize when you get older and you become more of an adult, you have more responsibilities. Like, I got to make my way to work. I, I, I have my driver's permit, okay? I don't have a car, but I have my driver's permit. So that's good enough, you know? Um, my driving skills are okay. And I um, should be practicing more because actually I got to practice for my license. And I ain't been doing it, but I should do that. And recently I just moved in with my cousin. So this here, like I live with my cousin and she like has her own place so i don't live with my mother or my sisters they stay down in la now and i'm still up here in san Bernardino where they should be and i should be in la you know i should be somewhere i live in la but i live in san Bernardino, which is like a good 45 minute drive to la without traffic with traffic at one to two hours but i live up here in san Bernardino. my job is in fontana so i go over like hmm two, three cities to get to work, which is far, but not far at the same time. Like if it wasn't, if traffic wasn't heavy, I'd get there in like 12 minutes. But since traffic is heavy, I get there in like 30 minutes at the most. But, you know, I take public transportation, which is not that bad, but I do realize like people stink. Like people really do stink. People stink. Like it's, <sighs> Like, 
I never thought I would have to use public transportation in my life, but it's part of growing up, you know? I'm not spoon-fed, so, you know, I gotta figure everything out on my own with some help and, you know, assisting the resources from people I may know. But it's like, people really do stink. I never realized how much people stink until I took the bus. The bus, like, it stinks. Not, it, the bus don't stink, but the people that get on it stink. Like the the bums and then bus drivers fighting the 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 crackheads and the the dope heads you know they're always fighting and I'm like I gotta get to work you making me thirty minutes to an hour late for work and that's why I'm like you know what maybe I should just like try to catch like tr something that's like an hour or two earlier than what I usually catch so I can get there and have like an hour to chill, go on Starbucks, give me a drink, you know, and just relax. And usually if I can't take, you know, a bus back home, I take a lift. But I'm like, it's all, it's all okay. I could do better. I can save up my money, go get me a car and just drive around with a permit, you know, risk getting pulled over and getting a ticket, but it's okay. You know, one day I'll get better. But, um, what else? And for now, like, I f um, I'm like, YouTube kind of is like, how can I say it? I don't have a creative mind of my own, I feel. Like, I feel like it's not more so creative. I'm more of a strong thinker. Not, I can be goofy, but it's not like, it's natural. It's like a natural goofy, like a natural funny. Like, I don't come up with things and I don't write things down. I don't make scripts, none of that. Like, I'm just naturally funny. If you talk to me, like, I can make you laugh. And that's just it. Like, I'm not special. I may be special up there, you know, mentally special, you know. I'm one of 500 siblings. No, not really 500 siblings, but I have like, you know, my mom, she has six kids and my dad, I don't know how many kids he has, but I don't want to count. I'm an Irish twin. If you don't know what an Irish twin, look it up or I'll try to put it somewhere. I'm an Irish twin, and it's pretty cool, even though we're not identical. Irish twin is when you're born 10 months or less apart, and we're born exactly 10 months apart, and, like, people say that that twin telepathy thing is fake, but that thing is most definitely real. Like, I can feel when she's down, she can feel when I'm down, and literally we hear the same thing, and we say the same thing at the same time, and we hear stuff in each other's head, and it's so creepy, because, like, one time she was like, she said something slick, but she didn't say it. And then she said it in her head. And I was like, what'd you say to me? She was like, she was just staring because she didn't actually say it. She like thought it. And I was like, oh, wow, must, must be nice, you know? But I'm away from her and I'm lonely and I'm sad and I miss her. So another thing about me, you know, um, I am part of the L G B T Q W Y Z F I O P M one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Uno dos tres Ichinisa. I'm part of that community. As you can tell. No, I'm not pansexual. No, I'm not bisexual. I'm gay. I don't like I like I guess I tell people I'm gay, but like I don't I'm recently thought within the past few days, I don't like saying that we're gay because when they think of gay, they think, oh, I'm putting on some nails, I'm putting on a wig, you know, I'm going to go full, you know, Naomi Scott and Jasmine Masters on you. No, I would like to say I prefer, I prefer guys, I prefer men, like, that's, that's it. And I don't have like a, I have like a, my own personality, but I more so like to make people feel comfortable that are around me so basically I'll like you know sometimes I'll act a certain way to make people comfortable around me but naturally I'm geeky I'm nerdy like I can't wait to get back to Palmdale to get around my friends again hopefully so we can do some retarded things like you know push each other in baskets and run into the sidewalk and hope we jump off 
the basket on time so we don't smash our face on the concrete and maybe hit a tree in the street and, you know, a pile of dirt if we make it out. Either way, we're going to mess ourselves up badly because that's what we do. And I like playing video games a lot, like, but I don't have a video game console right now. So I'm going to get me one. I like PS4. I don't Xbox who? I don't know what that is. And I also was thinking about, like, go ahead and try Nintendo. Like, I've had a Nintendo system before, but it was like, you know, a Nintendo 3DS. But that was about it. Um, I didn't really have, like, no Wii or nothing like that. I played a Wii one time, and it was, like, my aunt's boyfriend's Wii. Or, no, two times. And I went from my friend's house in high school. And I played his Wii. That don't sound all right. That doesn't sound right. He was a big kid. Like, he was uh, weight wise. He was he was chubby. He was full of weight. But anyways, um, also, mm, I do work out on my own time. But you know, you don't see me getting any buffer because. I ain't worked out in the past two months, but I try to. I usually go to Planet Fitness, but you know, cause I was like, I ended up, I also ended up like in the hospital and I ended up on like steroids and stuff. And then it made me gain weight. But if you look at my old videos, you can see I had a skinny face, but now you can see I got a little chubs here, little, little meat here, you know, no, no more. And I'm jawline, I, got a, I don't got a suck face no more, so I got some fat there, you know? But I'm not fat, like, trust me, I have a men in black, you know those little worm aliens from men in black? Like, that's how my body is. Like, I'm skinny. Like, I'm not skinny skinny, but I'm like, almost there, like, but I got a big head. Like, a lemon head, big head, like, you know? So, I'm cool with it. You know, I'm perfectly fine with it. As long as I don't turn to Norbit, I'm fine. You know, Respicia, Precious. Precious! Yeah, I think I'm fine. Guys, on my own time, I also do like go live on this app called Yubo. So it's it was like, it used to be called Yellow. I've been on the app for three years. So, you know, I'm an original. But a lot of people don't like me on there for some reason, you know? Maybe I'm just not like, you know, sassy or gay enough for them, or maybe I'm not, you know, cocky enough. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm too bland for them, you know? Maybe I'm too much of me for them. Maybe they want me to be like them and I'm not doing it, you know? I get tired of it, but it used to be called Yellow and it was more like a, oh, Tinder for teens, swipe left, swipe right. But I, um, what do you call it? I been on the app for three years and now you can go live. And since you've been able to go live, I've met a lot more people in person, interact with people. And now everyone knows everyone I'm known on the app. And well, and then like the gays is really popular on there, but they're messy. Like they're really, 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 really messy. They're just so messy. And I'm like, it's okay to a certain extent. Like my best friend, he's like, he runs like this thing called Shady Cahoots and um, Messy Monday or something like that. He runs some things and like, you know, I don't watch them. I pop in, you know, watch for a little bit and pop out because I don't really know anything about anyone. But it's a really good app overall and you guys should check it out so being that at the end of my videos which is right now um i usually go ahead and put up my social media and which i am in the last clip you're gonna see and so you know we have instagram twitter and snapchat but i'm gonna also add you both not facebook anymore we don't do facebook we don't know who facebook is never smelt them never tasted them never been them you know never saw them facebook who 
for the crackheads. That's who it's for. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put my links for my social medias down below. I know this video was like so boring because all I did was talk and I'm actually gonna try to upload more. I know I literally say that in every video that I'm gonna try to upload more, but trust me, please have patience with me because I'm retarded, you know? I'm so retarded, I'm so slow, I'm so stupid. Like, just work with me. So, go ahead, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching my bland video that had no emotion. And thanks for, you know, sitting here and watching my uneven hair, big head, and, you know, cousin eyebrows. And my illiterate language, you know, whatever. And um, see you in the next video, I guess. So's my bank account. So's my cool and wallet. So's my Gucci skirt. So's my phone and I. When I fly to Paris